Hey guys, welcome to Rising Vibrations. I'm Inga. This reading is for those of you who are dealing with a person who is a Gemini who has narcissistic tendencies. I am not trying to diagnose anyone with a personality disorder or any other mental illness. This is a tarot channel. Okay guys, if you want a formal interpretation of anything happening in your life, please seek out the formal venues for that, meaning go to a medical practitioner, go to a website that has those type of technical details that you want. Otherwise, if you're looking for alternative forms of interpreting the world around you, and you're using tarot, and you're using psychic mediums to interpret those aspects specifically for a narcissistic tendency person, then you're in the right place. This is for a narcissistic tendency person who hails from the element of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the period of right now, we're going to look at the karmic energy associated with a narcissistic Gemini, a person with narcissistic tem tendencies for Gem Gemini. We have the symbol on. This is Libra, Sagittarius energy. This is the Venus, Jupiter energy. This is for the karmic energy associated with a Gemini acting fully on their shadow. Narcissistic tendency, sun, moon, rising, Venus. We have the Sleeping Beauty. This is Cancer Pisces. This is someone very similar, oddly enough, to Pisces, someone who doesn't want to face reality. And we have Keeping Socks. There's a lot of criticism here. This is, this is really an odd combination for karmic energy by the way hold on let me let me see what's happening this is someone who's trying to sell a good story Gemini narcissistic personality type Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus is trying to sell a good story. I'm not even sure if they believe it themselves. But it seems to me that someone who's quite vulnerable, they're just talking, yeah, somehow they're talking a good game. Getting others to believe in them, what they tell them. You know, I feel like this is also someone who's just talking too much. They're just, you see how these guys are talking and gossiping about whatever that's going on. But they're also, this woman's in the background really suffering. She's accused of something and been, being put on public display for shame. This is, um, and then they go back home to their calm environment and life. But there's so much other turmoil around them. You see all this turbulence and discord around them, sowing the seeds of discontent. The Gemini narcissistic personality is purposely sowing seeds of discontent. I feel like they're not even they're not even paying attention to what they're saying and the damage it can do. They're not paying attention to what they're saying and the damage it can do to other people's lives. We have the five of ones causing a lot of fighting and bickering. It can be even among family because this is assuming that you're with a Gemini narcissistic personality type that you cannot get away from. If you're staying with a known narcissist, that's another whole conversation. This is the assumption that you cannot get away from them. So it's a family member or it's um, a child, it's a spouse who you don't want to leave, who's a narcissistic personality type. It can be a boss. It can be an employee. It's someone that you cannot get away from, guys. So there's a whole different premise with this. We have Ten of Swords. Again, causing a lot of destruction and damage through their, I feel like it's more their words and someone else is acting on their words. I don't feel like the Gemini narcissistic person personality type is actually doing the damage, but their words are doing the damage. 
others are reacting from what they say which may not even be accurate. We have the 10 of cups. So again, they go home and have, have their happy family life and situation while they're spreading seeds of discontent outside of them. But if you're with this Gemini or associated with them, I feel like it's, that eventually it will reach you. We have the seven of cups now. Yeah, it will reach you. They see how the Seven of Cups moved down to the Ten of Cups. There are losses there and confusion around the losses, spreading confusion, confusion and loss for the Gemini. Narcissistic personality type, if you're associated with them, this seems to be the energy associated with them. So let's see what you can start to do to manage this energy if you're stuck with them and cannot move away or get away. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Nine of Wands. So get ready because someone may be confronting them with the facts with this Ace of Swords. This feels like a confrontation about what was said, about the damage that it caused with this Ten of Swords especially if something was said or done because of what the Gemini narcissistic person did. I feel like there will be a confrontation and then people figuring out with the seven of cups where the, where the origin of this misleading information came from. And then here you go with the nine of wands being um, put on the spot. I can't find the word for it. Like someone's put on the spot and confronted. And you, you, it may not even be you that did it, but somehow you're associated with this Gemini narcissistic personality type. So it gets back to you. It's like you have to deal with it. We have the Eight of Cups. I'm sorry, because I feel like someone's being run out of town on this one. I don't know, sometimes. Sometimes I get flashes of things, and I don't mean to laugh, but it's like someone's being run off out of town, you know. I feel like an angry mob. <laughs> but it's not a real angry mob, but I feel like there is, like someone's running it could be something as simple as you're out at a restaurant or bar and then there's this confrontation and your name comes up or your Gemini narcissistic personality type person's name come up and you're in the middle of this and you guys are trying to run out of the location um, so that you don't have this confrontation. It's not funny. It's not funny. Major Arcana, the tower. So this is a type of a reckoning, a day of reckoning behind this Gemini. Narcissistic personalities type, what I described earlier, is not going to go unnoticed. And we have major arcana lust here. There's a lot of, uh, there's a big passionate exchange, argument, can be an outburst, confrontation, heated exchange, in the heat of passion. This is what I'm getting in the heat of passion, heated exchange, which you might have to be coping with if you're dealing with a narcissistic Gemini or personality type, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. We have the seven of cups again. So it's, it's like, who said what? This is coming up again in the same place, guys, on the other side. So you trying to figure out what they said and like even confront them. Like, you know what you said? They did this and this because of what you said. I don't even feel like the Gemini narcissistic personality type is taking any of this seriously. We have the tower on top of the tower. You can't make this shit up. You guys, if you're dealing with a narcissistic Gemini, 
personality type, I would really try to find out what they're into and who they're talking to and what they're saying because this is some crazy shit going on here. I'm not laughing. I'm laughing. And we have the seven of wands on top of the... <laughs> God, stop it. We have the seven of wands on top of the seven of cups. So this is like, who said what? Okay, now I'm about to kick your ass. I'm not sure who that's coming from. Because of what was said, there's a lot of heated passion and emotion with this major arcana. Lust. That all that emotion comes down to some type of a, yeah, a, a confrontation, basically. People are trying to de defend themselves, and that could be defend, like, I didn't do that. That wasn't me. That was them. Or it could be trying to physically defend yourself, and I'm not laughing, and I do not condone violence. So stop it, guys. Let's go ahead and see what the final advice was for those of you who are dealing with the Gemini who has narcissistic tendencies, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Gemini, what can you finally know about that situation? We're not going to keep these because there's too many. We have the five of wands, which we already had here. We have the king of, of fire. This is somebody who, for me who's pissed off. We have the four of wands. I feel like this is about a family situation. And we have the ten of cups, which was here, which showed back up again. So it feels like um, family gossip. It could be family gossip. It could be a family confrontation as well. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take this one and read it. We have the Emperor. This is your final advice for dealing with the Gemini narcissistic personality type. This is number four in the suite of the Major Arcana. Emperor is authority. Following the right rules now is exactly what I should be doing. People in authority come to my aid and give me good advice when I ask for it. I can have the strong confidence that, confidence that this card suggests dealing with institutions like banks, governments, or schools are highly highlighted at this time. I didn't even think about that as to it. If you are dealing with anything legal or authority, and you're dealing with a Gemini narcissistic personality type, somebody may come to ask you some questions about them. And then the Gemini can also be with you. Why'd you say that? Why'd you tell them that? But it's like you didn't even, because they didn't keep you abreast of what they were up to. See this, this sleeping beauty? She has no idea what's going on around her. She plays stupid or innocent, or maybe she really is sleeping. I don't know why that just came out. But... If you look here, like this is a lot of confusion. Like they didn't even keep you up on what they were into or up to. And somehow the Gemini narcissistic person might be caught out. But somehow I feel like the people around them are bought into this. And it's like, no, I didn't know anything about that. So that was a really interesting reading. You guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up. It's a new series. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it again because there seems to be a lot of controversy around this. I'm not making any medical diagnosis, you guys. Let's, let's be serious, okay? Come on now. I hope that you did enjoy that, and I will see you guys back here again soon. Have a good December. Bye-bye.